Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now today, Raila Amolo Dinga and the Azimela Omoja leaders were meeting with the Muslim leaders. And uh, of course I had discussed what they were talking in that meeting, but then there is one speech that stood up for me from one of the Muslim uh, leaders who addressed, the, who addressed William Ruto directly. Because it was very clear that Kwamba, wewe Ruto umetuudhi sana. The reason behind this is because they are feeling that when Kibaki was in power, he never created that boundary between Christians and Muslim. When Uhuru was in power, he never did that. Including Moi, who was so much religious, he never went that direction. But today, they have William Samuel Ruto here, who is now drawing a line between Christians and Muslim, and of course trying to make Kenya which is a secular state, to look like a religion state, and seemingly on the side of Christians. So Muslims are feeling that they have been left behind. And we have been talking about these things here. The question they are asking is that if the president has been inviting Christians and uh, uh, Christian leaders at State House, ha has been having a meeting with them, when is he going to invite the Muslim? When will he invite the Hindu? When is he going to invite the Buddhists? That was the big question. And uh, you can see, there is something I will tell them also. Ruto is not inviting all Christians to state house. It is just a clique of Christians, not all of them. Because the only support Ruto is getting is from the evangelical Christians. Those ones. While I'm That's a group of churches or preachers who are supporting William Ruto. So that's the group is he has been inviting. If you ask me, I'm yet to see Catholic. If you ask me, I'm yet to see Anglican. I'm yet to see Pentecostal. I'm yet to see Yababa and Itanga Kienyeji. I'm yet to see uh all of the, these other churches, there are many, you cannot name all of them, there are many. Hata hii ya, ya, ikwe ya Corino, ikwe ni hiyo ya Rejo Malia, he's not inviting them. There are only these evangelical churches only. So Muslims are seeking audience and recognition in this government. And if not, they are not for it. So I want to leave you with a speech from one of the Muslim uh, leader. Listen and then drop your comment. But again, please just remember to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much. Watch this video. Hatuna mengi ya kusema lakini tunakidogo ambani ya muhimu. La kwanza, baba ni kwamba, sisi kama islamu, tunashukuru kwa umweleke wako na mwitiko wako. Ni kwamba unatutambua na unatuzamini. Inauma na inatia uchungu, rais wetu, ambaye yuko katika mamlaka tangu apate usukani amekuwa akiwaita ndugu zetu wa Kikristo na tusemi ni vibaya ma ni dhambi lakini sijawahi kuona ameita Uislamu and this is the second month in power inaweza kuwa sisi hatufai lakini kuna wengine pia ni Uislamu hawaita lakini kutunyamazia vile na tuudhi na tunampe nyudhuru pengine Ramadhani ataitana lakini hata kitana Ramadhani labda mabonyenye waende huko status za kale. Nyima imamu mwaswalisha magharibi isha na tarawe mtenda sangapi status magharibi. Kweli urongo? Itakuwa nyinyi wakati ndi wakati wa ibada. Kwa hivyo nyinyi mtakuwa mukomo ni mumefungika sana na maswala ya nini ya Ramadhani. Na muki, tukienda status tukitoka huko ni saa 4 saa 5 sangapi ibada siku hiyo ndio ivunjike. Wala hatumlaumu. Lakini huwa tunangoja siku zote arekebishe ibara fulani. Ibara ya kwamba aliposema kwamba Kenya ni za Christian state ile ibara ni mbovu under the current constitution of Kenya ambayo anatawala nayo ni kwamba Kenya is a secular state not a Christian state or a, it's a secular state na kitu kingine cha kufurahisha sana ni kwamba tangu zamani sisi ima ni Muislamu si Muislamu katika nchi ya Kenya tumekuwa tuna hizo tafaruk za kwamba huni Mkristo ni Muislamu Tumekua tukishirikiana. Why now, Christian state? Sisi ya natuweka wapi? Kuna baadhi yetu wali msupport na wakampepaka kura na wakasimama nae. 
Au sio? Hata kama tukumpe si sote, kuna baadhi yetu walifanya nini walisimama nao? So ndio maana wao hawamo katika hisabu yake. So hapo tunatoa tuna, tunangoja sana rekebishe hii bara. Sisi ni wa Kenya, irrespective of our tribes and our religious affiliation. We are all Kenyans and we are entitled. Hilo ni jambo ambao pengine wale viongozi wengine wa Kiislamu wanaogopa kumambia mimi na kariri tena wakati lingine nilisema na leo pia nasema Kenya is not a Christian state it's a secular state and we as Kenyans irrespective of our religious backgrounds or affiliations we are Kenyans hakuna kitu hatutakuja kuwa sanitize tuwe wa Kenya zaidi na katika tulipokuwa tunasoma theology na nini hii ndio inafika pahali hii trend tukiwacha hivyo bila kumrekebisha maana rais ana haki ya kurekebishwa inaingia what we call religious fatanism yani unako una ile haiba ya ya dini na ni makosa lazima kubali dini zingine watu wengine wana dini lakini wanamuomba Mungu na Mungu anasikia au sio so alimuradi alim, alim sisi ni watu wa tauhid na tunamkubali Mwenyezi Mungu na tunajua yuko tunaheshimu na ma, makanisa yale mengine na tunafanya nao makazi interfaith hatujai kubagua na wale viongozi wa makanisa wajai kutubagua why now sasa ndio inaanza kuwa christian state Hilo linatuacha ina big msikitini tuulizwa na maamuma ustadhi ustadhi mami mam hii lugha ni vipi tunamwambia tulieni pengine rais ali alishikwa uh, na jazba katika ile kongamano akatoka katika line lakini we believe he still has time aikebishe hiyo kauli that sent, sentence lazima irekebishe and he is the one who because sisi hatutaki kumcondemn in islam we do not condemn sisi urekebishe na tukapoint makosa pale iko la pili ambalo pia ni muhimu sana ni haya masuala ya LGBT ambayo yanalete hamasa mbaya katika dini. Unajua Mwenyezi Mungu amekuumba, amekupa akili. Kisha akakupatia ufahamu na kazi. Kisha akapewa kazi maalum ambayo unafaa uichunge. Hata Pilato wakati wa Yesu alipokuwa akihumiwa aliona haya mambo ni mazito alitisha maji akajiosha mkono akasema haya ya kumpeleka Isa mwana wa Mariamu katika galo si simu maana anayofanya ni mambo ya haki ni propagation ya dini alikuwa anafanya kwa hivyo i cannot condemn him ama kutand the, the, the philosophy kusema is doing a negative thing alijivua i thought hata majaji wangekuwa wana hikma ambayo Mungu amewapa na na nafasi ile wamepewa na kazi zao wangetumia haki wasema hili linatushinda ama hata kama litushindi is part of our moral fabric. Vipi leo sisi tuta, tutavunja utu wetu ati kwa, kwa neno la sheria. Leo shekhe toka tembea jiani ama mtu yote mzee. Nenda pale uko joe. Uko joe tu hata kwa kuta kama ile. Ukishika unaambiwa nini? Public indecency. Utafungwa paka miezi ngapi? Nane ama sita. Sasa haya ya kutubadilishia jinsia. <laughs> Unajua I don't know how these people interpret these laws eh? ndio pale ngasema Mungu ametupatia akili na ufahamu. Kuna mambo mengine we kama mzazi unafaa uangalie ili jambo lina faida gani kwanza kwa umma. Hata si mambo ya kupeleka kotini. Kuna mambo mengine hata majaji wanafaa kuangalia si ya kupeleka kotini. Ni kupotezea koti dakika na wakati. Leo umeenda umekojua tu pale ukutwe. Unapeleka unaambia public indecent. Na utafungwa na ama ulipe fine. Haya ya mwanamke kwa mwanamke ama mwanaume kwa mwanaume hata kwa mbele ya machi ya umma ya na utu wa kibinadamu na mwenye akili timamu utayaka, utayaka wapi so lazima tuangalie mambo mengine ndio tuwapingane na kuna jambo lingine tungeomba sana rais hata kama ndio anafuta watu ama anahakikishe kwamba hakuna inayodhulumika mtu aondeshe aondoleo kazi peo mwingine kwanza anayefutwa ni mkenya na anayepewa ni mkenya lakini wewe anayefutwa aache amepewa haki yake aswacho hivi hivi maana pia amehudumia nchi ametumia wakati wake kuhudumia nchi na kuisukuma nchi mbele ameonekana afai basi mwingine afanye nini apewe na kama atapewa huyu yale ambaye amekuwa terminated contract yake imekuwa terminated hakikisho amepewa his all dues so that tusiingie katika nchi ya dhuluma na kufanya nini because how can you work in a state corporation ama katika nafasi yote ya, 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 ya inchi kisha wewe ufukuzwe na bila hali yako kuangaliwa itakuwa ni dhulma na dhulma ikithiri ikikithiri katika inchi neema za Mungu huondoka dhulma zinazidi kisha 
hii nchi itakuwa ita inaelekea wapi kwa hivyo wanaofutwa ni wa Kenya na wanaandikwa pia ni wa Kenya lakini haki ifanywe nini iangaliwe na ichungwe la tatu na langu la mwisho heshima ni muhimu heshima ni Shahidi amezungumzia kitu kimoja hapa na nini kwamba ise hii hii nchi kimeendeleo na kihali hatungekuwa tumefika hapa kama si bwana wala si atitambua kama mafuta he has been part and parcel of molding this country to this level that it is tuweza kaongea huru tuweza kaambiana tuweza karudishiana hawa na siasa wote 70% walio katika hiyo bunge ama ambao wa, wanatransfer wa katika nchi ni watu ambao wamepitia katika ma, mkono wa baba ama wa mold in one way or another so hata kama ndio siasa wewe na adabu kidogo na utu uzima kwamba wewe si mzee wa kumtukana wao wakishukuru wakasema baba created this platform for us because if it was not for him tungekuwa bado under suppression and other minor issues so alhamdulillah tumshukuru ni mungu tusha tusha uh, kufanya kufanya na hapa imefika ni kukaribisha wageni wale tukujilia mnawaona <laughs> lakini all in all that we have to be we all, all in all we have to be lazima tusimame na mito it's alright no, let's be here tuko salama na tuzidini kusimama na haki na haimaanishi ukimkosoa mtu unamtukana ama unamdharau la kukosoana kuko kuelekezana kuko hii ni siku ya baba na wageni wake kwa hivyo tunakata mazungumzo yetu so that we hear what they have to tell us from there i think ndugu yangu ndio atachukulia the issue of the other protocol on the other side